on guys, Anthony with ABC Adventure here. So we got a service here at a school today. Um, today's President's Day, so we're off. And um, the generator is right in front of me, but unfortunately the gate's locked, so I do have to wait for someone to get here for that. Uh, it is very windy out, so uh, we'll see how uh, how good the audio is out there. Maybe I'll uh, I'll try to double over it or something like that, or uh, who knows, it might be all right. So uh, stick around for that. We have a major service today. It's a coolant overhaul, basically upper and lower hoses, block heater, block heater hoses. Uh, I think we have a belt, we have a thermostat, we have a cap, radiator cap, level sensor, all that stuff. So should be a good one today. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys stick around for that. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. All right, guys, I'll bring you guys out here for a little bit. Uh, the wind is like just, I don't know if you can see. I mean, of course, now that I'm filming, it doesn't really look that bad with that flag. But, uh, yeah, school's closed, so. But it's just, I, I didn't think the audio would be that great. So I just, I'll, I'll get some clips in here. Maybe I'll tie it in with service from another video. But we got the battery out of it. Um, battery charger's disconnected. Jen's in off. But, uh, yeah, we're doing a coolant service. Uh, I have one of the uh, heater lines there you can see that's disconnected got the drain pan there and you can see on the other side I got another one um, I got to take the lower hose off upper hose is already off uh, most of it's already drained I got one bucket there and another one over there I think this thing took like takes like maybe seven seven ish gallons um, but yeah you can see how I got that one disconnected block heater there and that's draining into that guy um, I do know I have to take this cage off in order to get that belt off. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't look like a giant uh, fan. Sometimes you have to take the fan hub apart in order to get the belts off, but I don't think they have to on this one. This right here is your tensioner, so you you can't get to that without this fan being off. So, you know, we'll plug away. Uh, new thermostats incoming. I got a level sensor and conditioner up there. New cap. Um, yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll get to work. Like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film much of this because it's just audio is just terrible. And um, I don't know if you guys would want to watch just like an overlay of a voiceover, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of a filming here and there. And like I said, I'll probably uh, tie this in with another service another time. But just to get some kind of clips going here, so show you guys. You can see these. I think we're supposed to be replacing those, but we don't have them. So I'm gonna make a comment about that and maybe we can get those on the next service. But you see down in there, you can see a little bit of a, like a pinkish purple tint, more so like pinkish orange. Uh, yeah, so coolant actually leaked down in there and solidified, so that's uh, that's great. But now I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna uh, continue pulling stuff apart. And uh, when I get that belt apart, maybe I'll show you guys how that one looks because it's, a, it's interesting because you can't get the belt off without taking the cage apart. So it's as simple as a bunch of 10 mils. It's not that bad. You just kind of unbolt that and leave the exhaust hanging. So, but uh, yeah, let me get back to work. All right, so fast forward a little bit. Fan cage is off. Some of it's over there. And I think some of it's on the other side. Uh, old belt is off. This is actually the new belt. Maybe I'll do some uh, YouTube magic for you. So that was pretty simple. It's a very small belt. You're really only on the, the fan the crank and then you have your alternator on the other side can you see that down there yeah so i mean i guess that and the tensioner but it's a really easy belt like i said it goes around that fan um you can kind of sneak it through here without a problem some of them you can't and you're actually if you go back here there's actually i mean i, I think i can show you that hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that but uh there's a couple bolts back there that um you can take the fan off with that hub and then you won't have to deal with it going around the fan but to get this kind of belt done you don't need to do that so we're going to continue um next up i'm going to get this hose off and who knows i might just put it all together and show you guys the uh the final go through um i might filling it up i gotta you see this little access hole up there so i can probably put my funnel up there and fill it from on top and uh yeah should be good we do have a new battery for this guy um i don't know how old that battery is but before when i was cranking it it was uh cranking real slow so just like that, that the video you guys saw last week after the service was all done i asked the guy for it and he he uh, he wanted a proposal instead so we threw it in the proposal for him and uh, we'll probably go back there for a battery but in this case let me uh i'll get back to it keep plugging away and um we'll pick you guys up when we're uh, on the next steps 
anyway, all right, <laughs> you guys, I had to uh, pick up the camera and I stopped what I was doing just to show you. I don't know what happened or what's like the, the deal of doing all this cool and stuff, but I swear I didn't touch anything. I pulled that thermostat apart and this is what I found. Like what the hell is that? So there's a rag in there somehow? Like, what? Do, well, what's the reason behind that? That's insane. Look, I don't know. Beats me. <laughs> is there anything else in there? Everything else looks alright. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who the hell did that, but. Um, yeah, I, ha I had to show you guys that. I was like in disbelief. I'm like, did I really just... That's a full rag being pulled out of the... Th I, like, what? what's the process? But, like, I don't know, man. And I never get amazed by this stuff. You, the shit you see and the stuff people do and like trying to like... I don't, I don't know. I have no words for that. Like, I don't... I'm trying to come up with an excuse as to why someone would do that. But if you think about it, if, you're, if your engine's overheating, you would remove the thermostat. Not shove a paper towel in there. That, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work. <laughs> All right, guys. This time has passed. The wind uh, hasn't changed. <laughs> it's still windy as hell. But basically, we're we're pretty much some summed up. Uh, oh God, it's wind. So cleaned everything up except for my tools and stuff. But uh, yeah, new hoses, new clamps, all that stuff. Um, thermostats in there. I, can't, I still can't believe that. I called my manager. I was like, you don't, you don't know what I pulled out of that thermostat. I don't know how. It's, no one has any idea as how that happened. It's, it's, it's speechless, right? Um, but yeah, so I put the new battery in there. I made sure the battery charger was on. I think I still have this in alarm for you. Huh? Let's see. Yeah. So we can clear that. I know you guys probably can't see that display. But I think she took about seven or eight gallons of coolant. Made sure that was all tight, all the fan stuff, all the bolts and everything. These were actually not on the quote, the block heater hoses, but I wound up putting them in there anyway because I had them in the van. All new clamps for that. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. I still got to clean some of that up up there, but new conditioner. I'll put this one back on. So if you see all the uh, splatter up here, I tried to I tried to uh, fill the coolant from up top, but it it was so windy. I was like, ah, I'm not even gonna. I just wind up like squeezing in there and trying to get it through there. But basically, I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. I do have a slew of have paperwork that I have to do. That's gonna be a lot to write up because I gotta write up all the parts and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let's give it a crank over and uh, see what she sounds like. I think I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. Yeah, so I'll let that run for a bit. I'll uh, sit in the van, maybe get ahead of some paperwork, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll pick you guys back up on the road. All right, guys, I have both my laptop and the iPad here. Um, I'm gonna finish up some paperwork, but I already closed up over there. Generator's good, doors all closed up and locked. Uh, I'm gonna close out the video here. I do have to go back to the shop. I do have to grab some stuff for tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably include some kind of driving footage, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't film too much. The wind sucked, I and I think it's gonna be worse tomorrow too. Um, but hopefully we can still get some good audio out of it and um, we'll be all right. Look at the freaking sky. Love that, that's cool. You see, everyone always asks, I'd rather, I'd rather film a cloudy sky because it looks cooler than if it was a clear sky, doesn't it? 
Don't you agree? Because I'm looking over there. That's kind of boring, right? Look at that. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting distracted. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I still don't understand who put a rag in the thermostat. <laughs> it's so weird. But, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. You know, leave a comment if you'd like. And uh, I'm sure you guys will be talking about that, uh, that rag in the uh, thermostat. So, but uh, take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one.